Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, then welcome to the channel. Today's video is about this very gorgeous Squire Proto 1998 made in Korea. Uh, quite rare guitars, only made these for a couple of years, but I'll go into that a bit more later. This one used to belong to me about, oh God knows how long ago, a long time ago, and I sold it to a friend of mine uh, to pay some bills. And for my birthday, he gave it back to me and said, uh, do what you like with this. I haven't played it anyway <laughs> since I bought it off you. Uh, have it back. So thank you very much uh, for that. So that is, is, is absolutely astounding. And I love this guitar. It's awesome. Isn't that right, Biscuit? Okay, so here it is on the bench. Um, it's a very nice looking guitar. Not a lot about it is original. Um, it didn't come with these chromey pickup covers and knobs and stuff like that. Um, even the tuners aren't original. Uh, they're Wilkinson locking tuners. Um, so the only thing that is is that is really the body and the neck. Uh, the pick guard is broken. It's split where uh, one of the um, the pickup screws goes in, so the the pickup falls in. Um, but I've got that Fender one there, so I'm gonna uh, replace the pick guard. Uh, it's a very very lovely color in very nice condition. Um, so I'm really happy about that. There's the uh, tuners there from Wilkinson. I could uh, put the original tights back on there, but that would be a bit of a downgrade, so there's not really any point in that. Um, here's inside the guitar. It's cut out for two humbuckers, which is interesting, and it looks like it's had uh, plenty of pickup, uh, sorry, some uh, scratch plate changes over the years. Uh, the pickups are not original. They are Mexican pickups. I do remember that. They're from a Mexican Strat. Um, the wiring and stuff is not, I don't think any of this is original, the trem's not even original, I don't know why the trem's not original, because the original Protone guitars came with uh, vintage Fender trems with uh, printed Fender saddles, um, I'm not sure, I can't remember why this is like this, but I do know those pickups are from a Mexican Strat, and that one wasn't working but it was just a short in it so I sorted out straight away and here's the replacement pit guard all nicely done I've put the chrome stuff back on um, but we'll, we'll we'll think about that um, anyway for the future um, so looking at the neck the frets are in amazing shape um, it has been played quite like this guitar I mean I bought it second hand it was it was used anyway when I, when I bought it but I will do a little bit of work on the frets uh, Bling, just like that, magic. There you go. I did a little bit of work on the frets. Um, so I, I didn't go to town too much, but I, I, I leveled them off a little bit, got a few of those dents uh, lower, so it, it, it will play better, but I will refret this at some point, I think. Um, and then I just went uh, ahead and just cleaned it all up with a bit of T-cut. Now this guitar reminds me a lot of the Takai Strat that I did for a friend of mine recently. You can see a video of that. It, it even looks like it, and it really does play like it as well. It feels really good. These guitars were discontinued after two years uh, when the Mexican factory opened. This is what I've been told, uh, because people preferred to buy these than the Mexican Strats, um, which is a real shame. So they are really good quality guitars, solid ash body, maple neck, and they came with good hardware and stuff, better than what's on this, apart from the tuners. Um, this is what it looks like originally, um, so I could put it back, to look like this, um, let me know in the comments what you think. I, I've got some vintage uh, aged knobs and pickup covers which I could put back on there, and I could uh, put an original uh, vintage Fender trem back on, um, although it's not necessary. Um, and it would look like this then. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I like the blingy, the blingy chrome covers or not. Um, I do have tuners like that, but again, it would be a downgrade, so I don't know whether that's worth it or not, or so I'll just keep the Wilkinsons on there.
there you have it, folks. My Squire Protone 1998 Maiden Career. Um, huge thanks and shout out to my friend Ian who gave this back to me, no questions asked. Um, after all this time, it's really great to have this guitar back and I'm enjoying playing it immensely. Um, which brings me on to my charity work, which I haven't done in a long time because of COVID. Uh, the Guitars for All project will be starting up again. Um, and as people have been so generous to me over this last 18 months or so, I do have an excess of instruments and stuff. So I've got some stuff that uh, will get it rolling again. So and, and largely because I've been given this one and I'm going to keep this one, um, I'm going to donate one of my other guitars in place of this one and some other things as well. But more on that in the future. Um, I have been in talks with a few people about uh, how we're going to go forward with the uh, charity, um, but more of that to come. Um, so my question to you is, do I keep the bling or do we go back to the vintage thing? <laughs> See what I did there? Um, let me know in the comments. I'm undecided. I don't know whether I like, I like the blingy chrome or whether I, I want to put it back to a vintage look. I don't know. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out in a big way. Follow me on Twitch as well. I want to thank everybody for my birthday. I had my birthday a few days ago. We had a great old time. We had a kind of a party on Twitch. I had like a party stream. And people donated lots to me. And I got lots and lots of great presents, including this. Um, and my Harley Benton... Uh, Tube 15, which was in that video clip which you just watched as well. There's some videos on that and there's more videos to come with that. Uh, I am gigging it with this guitar tomorrow. So there will be some footage of that as well if you're interested in that amp. Anyway, not much more to say except peace. Till next time. <coughs> Cue the jingle. If you like my YouTube show, hit like and comment and get involved. If you dig my vibe, then hit subscribe and never miss an episode of my YouTube show. Till next time.